Did you know that most businesses do not require professional sanitary waste disposal? Not very many people know this, which is alarming to me as a hygiene supplier. And I want to do this video so that I can demonstrate to you that you can save at least £500 on the running of your small business. So just five minutes of your time and I can demonstrate you'll save at, at least £500. So various companies like the, the, the big sanitary um, disposable companies, we all know who I'm talking about, um, they add, they say that there's a legal requirement and loads of confusion and loads of misinformation and loads of legislation about the fact that you do actually need a qualified person to come in and dispose of your sanitary waste. So from this I'm talking about um, sanitary disposal, san sanitary products and nappies etc. Um, so that, and that isn't actually the case. Um, the legislation says that, let me just read the legislation, the legislation that says the Workplace Health, Safety and Welfare Regulations in 1992, paragraphs 20 and 21, state that washroom facilities should be suitable and sufficient. These terms are clarified by the Health and Safety Executive in their approved code of practice, which states that for toilets used by women, suitable means should be provided for the disposal of sanitary dressings. Therefore, a method of sanitary disposal a method for sanitary bins is required as well as legal obligations to use sanitary towel disposable bins these are for environmental reasons um, there's an, an estimated two billion sanitary items which are flushed down toilets each year which we here at astral hygiene are trying to prevent in the name of um, ecological awareness but also in the name of common sense um, so you can use a, um, a pedal bin or um, you can buy one of these that we sell here at Astral. So we sell these, these are on our website, for £10. £10 for a sanitary bin. It comes flat packed and when you build up, now I've built this one up all by myself. Um, I can't even put together a piece of Ikea furniture, so this is how easy it is. So look, here it is, built up. It is cardboard. It's got a little message on the top about um, where is your last smear test, which I think is actually a really responsible thing to be doing as an employer, encouraging your um, staff members to um, you know, go for their smear tests. Um, so yeah, we know there's a load of misinformation. We know that there's an alternative on the market. We know you can get this from www.astralhygiene.co.uk for 10 pounds. Um, we sell these up and down the UK, we sell them locally here in the Scottish borders, we sold loads and loads and loads of these <clears throat> and we have actually partnered with some really big organisations to help them to elbow out the um, sanitary disposal forms because they can be an absolute horrendous, they can, their behaviour can be horrendous to get rid of um, but we can coach you to get rid of them <clears throat> by not not breaching the terms of your contract, but we can help you. Um, and we've, we've put in loads of these, thousands of these since 2015. Now we have tried these, we've tested them, we've sold them since 2015 and they do work. They don't smell, they have got um, an antibacterial protection on the inside, um, which is certified to ISO 20743. Um, and it's got a Biomaster coating on the inside, which is proven to kill harmful bacteria, and it'll kill E. coli, Legionella, Listeria, MRSA, Salmonella, and many, many other kind of species of bacteria. It's the bacteria that creates the smell. So if you can create, kill the bacteria on entry, um, it, it means that this bin doesn't smell. And we have a bin in our um, bathrooms here at Astral, and it sits there for up to 12 months. And then when we decide that we don't want it anymore, we pick it up and we put it in the rubbish, in our general waste, because as long as your sanitary items weigh under seven kilograms, you can pick it up and put it in the bin, which means that your cleaning um, team don't have to get involved in it. No one's get involved in it. You don't have to pay you know, a big sanitary firm 500 pounds, a thousand pounds or whatever for a year for to come and empty your sanitary bins when half of the time they don't even turn up to do it. 
you can take control of the situation, buy one of these for £10 and then just chuck it in the bin. Great. Um, what a lot of um, sanitary uh, bin companies do is they kind of get you to sign up to X amount of hand towels, X amount of toilet rolls, X amount of dispensers. And when you do sit, pull the plug and finally just get them to, to agree that to terminate your contract, they often come out and take the dispensers away and um, you know, stop giving you your toilet roll and they'll take things off the wall. Don't worry about that because you can actually buy replacements from us. You own them. They, they don't cost the earth. I mean, a toilet roll dispenser is about £15. A hand towel dispenser is £15. Um, we even do air freshen dispensers and air fresheners to go in them. Then when you need toilet roll, you just phone us and we'll deliver it to you or phone somebody else and they'll deliver it to you instead of getting you on a rolling contract so that your cupboards are absolutely full and overflowing and brimming with, you know, cases of mini jumbo or cases of jumbo toilet roll. So yeah, we can sort this problem out for you. These are entirely legal. They're entirely practical. The, the only thing, and, and this is what you'll always get from me here in, in honesty, is in kind of wet areas, they are made of cardboard. So they will, um, you know, if it's in a, a, a toilet, etc., that does flood a lot, I wouldn't recommend them get a, a, a pedal bin and then just take the bag out and put it in the bin. But the, the, the key to this video is, as long as your sanitary waste weighs under seven kilograms, you don't need to have anybody come and get rid of it for you. You can get rid of it yourself, um, which is great and will save um, lots of kind of small bars and restaurants that we work here with a minimum of 500 pounds. Um, so the benefits of um, the, the Binny Bin, that's what it's called, the Binny Bin, I think it's quite a cute little name, Binny Bin, is um, you can dispose of all your own dis sanitary waste. It's fully compliant with all legislation, HSE um, and the Department of Health. Have a look at my blog. It's um, on our blog section of our website. Um, and it's this, this one is called uh, Disposable Sanitary Bins, I think I've called it. Um, significantly reduces your sanitary bin carbon footprint because you've not got vehicles coming backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards to empty your bins. You can do it yourself. Um, significant cost savings, um, it's environmentally responsible, um, improves your toilet facilities, you've got a nice attractive little pink bin, and um, there's a malodor blocker, you know you're in control and know when your sanitary bins are gonna be disposed of, um, and it's regarded, regarded as a consumable, so there's no capital outlay, there's no massive um, checks that need to be written. 10 pounds, astral hygiene. I'll pop a link in the comments. Thanks so much. Bye now.